Hello everyone, my name is Zard and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at LEGO Cars set 8487. This is Flo's VA Cafe, a 517 piece set uh, released in 2011 and unlike a few other car sets had a relatively long shelf life lasting till December of 2012. Uh, this is the third largest car set. It has six characters, Fillmore, Sally, Lightning, Flo, Sarge, and Mater, and then of course the build for Flo's VA Cafe. This is the only build uh, that we've ever gotten recreating something from Radiator Springs in a car set. Uh, four of the characters are exclusive to the set, and at least their Lego form Sally did release in a Duplo form, but uh, Fillmore, Sally, Flo, and Sarge are exclusive to this set, whereas Lightning and Mater can get, can of course be found in other sets being the two big characters of the movie. So this one released around Cars 2's release in 2011, but uh, of course is based on Cars 1 more than it is Cars 2, especially with that uh, Radiator Springs cruising lightning uh, design that they went for for this one. So the build here has three sections, the car wash station, the fueling station, and then the main Flo's V8 Cafe area where you can get your coolant, your gas, your oil, and your grease. Uh, it has a bit of an interior to it, a play function. One of my favorite parts of the entire build is definitely the sign for Flo's V8 Cafe. It's just, it's a very simple build, but for something from 2011, it was sort of surprising to me. It's very well done with a very limited amount of pieces, and there's a few techniques in there that I didn't really expect for a set releasing 13 years ago, just from other builds that I've built around the same time. It does have a decent amount of stickers, especially when you get into the builds themselves. The entire signage there for flows, and then the cafe, and then what the cafe has are all stickers. You can see the little flows Cafe jukebox in there. That's also a sticker. The Texas T is a sticker uh, there, and then the uh, fueling pumps uh, on either side also have um, stickers, so they have uh, plated pieces around each of them so you can get your minifigures over the humps of the fueling area or the car wash station. The roof design is the same on either one. I think they look good on both of them. Um, I, I really like the shaping here of the cones at the top. Speaking of cones, you do get uh, two cones in this set. Sadly, they never released a cozy cone set. That would be a really cool set that I'd love to see them do at some point, but of course it doesn't really seem like they do too much car stuff, even though they have released a couple of Duplo sets in the last two years. Um, this set does have the its biggest play function, which I'll show you in a little bit, but you're going to hit this top bit. It's going to take, uh, it's going to shoot out uh, whichever car you'd like it to shoot out. So the six characters here are definitely one of the biggest aspects of this set, as four of them are exclusive to the set. I feel like the biggest one, just because of how many printed parts he actually has, Fillmore is definitely a really cool one in this set. Um, the prints on either side are going to be the same, but they're all very nice prints. There's the print at the face, uh, and then once again at the side. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorites in the set. I think he looks great. Um, and yeah, I, I really like the build for this one. Definitely one of my favorite built Cars characters that they have in the line. Uh, Sally, of course, uh, being uh, very much designed off the Porsche 911. You can see the logo there, uh, well, at least this shape of it. Um, the lights, uh, the tires, it's a very uh, simple build, and then you have the license plate, uh, the California license plate back there. Uh, all of these are going to mostly use just a single piece like this, or a few other parts like Mater has a different one, Sarge has slopes, and then the uh, front uh, piece printed for, um, for Fillmore, but I think Sally looks really nice. Lightning is one that I'm slightly disappointed by as Cruising Lightning or Radiator Springs Lightning, this version of Lightning is my favorite version of Lightning in the three movies. 
Um, I just absolutely love it. And here they go for sort of a mix of the normal racing lightning with the Rusty's logo, the race number at the top. And then it's mixed with the Radiator Springs style where it'll have the new paint job at the side, the spoiler. It's just they don't really go with like the white ball tires or the darker red color that would be seen with this uh, lightning in the movie. So it's a cool figure, I like it, but it is definitely a little bit disappointing from what you actually see in the movie. Uh, Mater here is uh, a cool one. I really quite like him. His teeth there, his eyes, uh, the mirrors, uh, toe Mater printed onto bricks onto the side. He's gonna have two different shapes uh, for his tires and then the actual toe, uh, which can go up and down and has some mobility to it. Another print along the backside and then the same Tomator brick print on the other side. Um, Sarge is uh, using a dark tan and uh, same green color. Uh, a bunch more prints for him as well around the mouth, the star at the front, then the eyes as well. And then prints along the side, a little pot right at the back. And yeah, I think Sarge looks great. Definitely one of the, they're all really solid figures uh, and characters in this set and then of course Flo for Flo's V8 Cafe. Um, I think she looks great. I like how they did her shaping, some uh, printing there at the side as well as the front as well as the mouth. Uh, as well I think they did a very good job capturing Flo, the lights at the back, and yeah it's just well done. I think all the characters look very nice. I think the builds look very nice. Um, and I'll show you the play function at the end, but overall I think uh, Flo's V8 Cafe is a very solid uh, Lego car set, definitely my favorite of all the Lego car sets. I think this one, if you're going to get one set, it's just a perfect set. You get a little bit of Radiator Springs, I feel like the most iconic part of the Cars movies, and then a bunch of really critical characters and Radiator Springs characters, and a great start to getting sort of the whole collection. Of course, you're going to have to go out there and get Red. You're going to have to get Max. Sadly, you can't get Lizzie or um, Ramon, which I really wish had been in this set. Of course, eight characters is quite a bit in this relatively small set, uh, but I really would have liked to see those two, especially Ramon, just fitting so well with Flo. Um, but I think the characters that they chose were great. I think I maybe would have swapped out Mater for Ramon because um, of course you want to keep Lightning in there and I think Sally very much fits with any Radiator Springs set. And then if you're gonna have Fillmore, you gotta have Sarge. If you have Sarge, you have that Fillmore. And then of course Flo is gonna be in the set. So I think the only logical one to sort of swap out would have been Mater. And I think swapping him out for Ramon would have maybe been a nice one, especially since Mater is in so many sets, especially a very small $10 set. Mater was also included just by his separate self. I think actually a couple times um, they made it. Uh, but yeah, it's a very, very solid Lego Cars set. And um, yeah, I absolutely love the set. I'd love to see more in the future if they ever do revisit Cars or if Cars 4 ever happens. I would love to see a Cozy Cone set and I'd love to see a bit more Radiator Springs because this set is definitely my favorite from the Cars line, I think is an amazing small uh, Lego set. That well building really reminded me of how much I loved some just simple style of building. Of course, builds have gotten a lot more complicated using a lot more small parts. Well, this one definitely brought me back to a bit simplicity. And for that, I absolutely loved just putting this one together. And it has some absolutely amazing characters that I'm very happy to have added it to my collection. So I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you in the next one. And I'll just end this out with showing you the play function of this set. You're gonna knock this down. That did not, I need to go a bit harder on it. That was maybe a bit too hard, but it can push out a car and you can have them go flying. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.